Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today I want to talk about the Golf Channel. Basically, I watch a fair amount of the Golf Channel, mostly just for the, uh, the golf tournaments, the PGA tournaments, the LPGA, the European PGA, Champions Tour. But I, I occasionally watch them in the morning to get some of the news and things like that. And, and one of the morning shows, one of the lady professionals was talking with, uh, they were in, in front of the big screen thing where they hit, you know, the, the, they hit into the screen and it met, you can see the ball in the flight and it tells you how far it, it, you know, it landed and how far it runs out there. And one of the lady professionals, LPGA professionals that, that's on the morning show, she was uh, doing a golf lesson, speaking to one of the other uh, former PGA professionals that's now a Golf Channel con uh, you know, works over there talking about things. And they were talking about a player's swing. And when this player was, they started analyzing his swing, he naturally, he was, had the big huge turn, got in here and, and took, you know, had to back to the target and, and was basically rotation. The club is over here. We're, we're at the top of the back swing. It was over here. And this is the thing I wrote, I grabbed the pen real quick and wrote down a few words. She said, talking about the width of the arc in the backswing. She said, the origination of power is your body. The width creates more turn back to the target. All right? Now, in many cases, what they want is they talk about, they want a very wide arc with the big turn. They want you to take the club wide, as far as way as you can get it. I've heard they've got these tips about feel like the inside of your, your, your right thumb, if you're right-handed here, is pushing the, your left thumb and the shaft away from you as wide as you can get it back here. And then they want you to extend it as wide as you can get it out there and wide over here when you finish. Well, too wide does what? Once you get... Once you're making a swing motion and you got this hand, your hands are way out here holding this club which is way out there, that club has weight, all right? And, and the farther you get it out here and, and, you're, and you're taking, stretching all the muscles all the way from your feet, all the way up your legs, through your, through your glutes and everything else, all the way up here through your lower back to your neck and shoulders and, your hand, and then down your hands and arms, all of that, the more you stretch it, the more stretching tightens up, right? Right here, natural. The more I keep stretching that wide over here and get this club away from my center, the more my body has to tighten up to support that club and keep me standing so where I don't fall down. And then compound that on this side where they, where they really want you extending it as far out as you can go over here and as far back as you can finish out there where, you, where they got you finishing way back over here and now they got their wrapping their hands down like this. Just take your hand, put it up here and feel what you, and feel the muscles the natural how, how the muscles are naturally stretched from here to there and in balance. Take that same position and just go there like this. Just go from here to there and tell me what you feel. Right off the bat, I got all these muscles from here right past my elbow through up here. It's going back. I feel my neck tightening from here all the way down here. Now naturally, if you might be more supple and flexible than me, you might be able to get there with less tight tension when I'm feeling, but I'm feeling a lot. All right? Plus, once I get over there and do this and the hand goes here instead of there, from here, it also shoots straight down to right here across my lower back and down in my right hip. And guess what else? Once I get over here, now it's also going from here down to there. So I'm getting stretched completely. Everything's just stretching all up over there. As compared to if I stand here and I just swing to right there, right? My hands are over my shoulder. I heard somebody the other day on the Golf Channel say, you want to hold the finish until the ball lands. I don't know if it was, it might have been on the Golf Channel, but it might have been one of those advertisements for selling some golf lessons or something. It, this teacher wants you to hold your finish until the, until the ball lands. Well, that could be four or five seconds with a driver. But even, and then they, and if you're watching it roll out and everything else, but to hold this club up here, you gotta, you, you're burning energy. You've gotta maintain enough, for, enough, enough muscle tone in your wrist, your fingers, your wrist, your forearms, down your arms, down your body. The longer you stay up here, the more your body has to start tightening to, to maintain it. That's why we want to get up, down, and then relax. You don't want to be hanging around up there burning and wasting energy. Why? 
because you only got X amount in the gas tank and if you run out of it before you finish your round, you're not going to have a good finish. There's so many of these, these ideas and cliches that are incorrect. <coughs> Excuse me. So what is the width of your swing? The cactus drill. You stand here and you bend over into pure posture. Right? Now, you want to find your backswing width? You come right here. You come from right here. And you put the swing the club right there. See how natural this is? This is just my natural extension and there's my right hand. It tells me what, this tells me where I got to get to. Now for the finish, what do I do? I get back there, leave this here. I'm going to just change a little bit to this position so you can see it. I'm just going to swing here, come up here and put that right there. When you stand this way, where are both my hands? Look at the angle of my hands right here. They're this way. They're not back this way. I can't get them very far back without straightening my spine. So if you just lift your hands up like this, where are they taking the oath of, you know, I swear, right? Your hands are always slightly in front of your face. That's why we're in the mitt and up the tree. Club should touch you in the middle. In the forward mitt, up the tree, should hit you right over the center of your shoulder. So we swing up, boom, and control finish, because I don't ever want to touch my shoulder. Right hand's really close to the ear. Back recoil at the waist, pointing at the target. Just like every other sport in the world. You, you, if you want to throw or hit something, you, you look at where you want it to go and you throw and follow through to where you want it to go. Unlike golf, we want to go to the camera but we finish over there. Sorry, that's not the way it works. Did God give golf a dispensation to play by their own set of rules? Because we're the only sport in the world that if you want to hit it to that camera, you got your chest and your club finishing over there. That all that does is increase your what the your margin of error. The farther you finish there, the more you open up the right to the left. We want to play in a bowling alley. So if you want to play in a bowling alley, you got to stay in the bowling alley. Okay? So, be careful. PPGS. Five rules. Golf's a game of angles, the fewer the better. Pounce perpendicular to the ground throughout the swing. Turn only to the toe line and up on the back swing and the forward swing. Number four is we swing up to the tee finish. We don't hit the ball down on the ball. We swing up to the tee finish because up on that side is not free. Down swing is free. So why do you, why do you want to swing down and pound the club into the ground? Swing up to the finish. And number five, and most important, after you get all of those, is when you hit a bad shot or a mediocre shot and you say to yourself, what I do wrong? The answer is, who cares? Do the next shot right or correct. Go back to your fundamentals of the grip stance, posture, and alignment, the fundamentals of PPGS. The body friendly golf swing. Swing in the club the way your body's designed to move to the golf ball from point A to point B in a relatively straight line. Okay? So, Golf Channel's got some great stuff. Listen for the news, but most of the golf instruction as relates to PPGS is not good to listen to and look at especially if you are a visual player. Okay, well that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.